And now, for Max International, recording artist and the wife of talk show host Larry King, Sean King. Hi, I'm Sean King. You know, Larry and I have not only watched the growth of Max International from the beginning, we were among the very first users of Max GXL and have experienced its amazing benefits firsthand. It's literally the one supplement we wouldn't even think of going a day without. But as wonderful as GXL is, it's not the only factor that separates Max International from all other nutraceutical companies. What really sets Max apart from all others is its science and the breakthroughs its science produces. Of course, it all started with Dr. Robert H. Keller and his lifetime of clinical practice and the research in the field of immunology. His breakthrough research and patented formulation for glutathione enhancement resulted in the creation of Max GXL, Max International's cornerstone product. Glutathione is the body's most powerful and prevalent antioxidant and a critical detoxifier of the cell. In the 60-day double-blind placebo-based crossover clinical studies, GXL users experienced an average increase in the glutathione levels of 276%. But Max didn't stop there. Max worked with scientists from Utah and Clemson University's Institute for Nutraceutical Research to create Max's breakthrough nanonutrient supplement, Enfuse, that not only provides all of the daily vitamins and minerals our bodies need, but also supports the cellular production of the cell's most important antioxidant enzymes, catalase, SOD, and CoQ10. Yes, it's true. At Max International, science has been the foundation upon which its past success has been built. Well, now that foundation has been profoundly expanded and will serve as a launching pad to a whole new level of corporate and field success. Here to announce an acquisition that will further separate Max from the rest of the nutraceutical world is Max co-founder Stephen K. Scott. Hi, I'm Steve Scott. And I am so excited to make an announcement that will impact your lives and your businesses, and I believe the lives of millions of people throughout the world. But first, a little background. For more than 40 years, Dr. Herbert T. Nagasawa has conducted research in medicinal chemistry at his laboratories at the University of Minnesota Health Science Complex and the Department of Veterans Affairs Medical Center in Minneapolis. In 2007, Dr. Nagasawa and his team formed Celgevity Incorporated to promote the findings of his research and to introduce his breakthrough patented formulations to the world. Formulations designed to substantially increase cellular energy, performance, and protection to promote optimum health and greater longevity. I'm happy to announce that Max International has acquired all of the assets of Celgevity along with all of its patents, proprietary research, breakthrough formulations, and of course its dynamic executive team and research scientists. Dr. Nagasawa has long been regarded as one of the world's leading research scientists on cellular function, glutathione, and the chemistry and delivery of glutathione. He and his laboratory have been awarded nine extraordinary patents. He has more than 165 studies that have been peer-reviewed, published, and primarily funded by grants from the National Institutes of Health and the Veterans Administration. He is a senior scientist at the Veterans Administration, an adjunct professor for the Center of Drug Design at the University of Minnesota, and for 32 years he's been the senior editor of the Journal of Medicinal Chemistry. His son, Dr. Scott Nagasawa, was the co-founder and chief technical officer of Celgevity. So what does this mean to you and me? Well, Celgevity's R&D and formulations represent extraordinary breakthroughs that will provide tremendous advancements for our current and future products and a scientific platform that we believe will permanently separate us from all other companies in the nutrition and wellness industry. And now, the CEO of Max International, Peter Nordberg. We, uh, we met Celgevity back in October of last year and uh, they were introduced to us. They came in and made a, about a two-hour presentation initially, and it was clear at the, at the end of that presentation 
uh, we re regrouped as a, as a team, kind of debriefed on everything that we had heard and uh, came to the quick conclusion that there was just an awful lot of science behind what they, what they uh, presented. Um, you know, following that, what we did is we engaged a firm out of New York uh, to help us go through the due diligence process both on the science and on the intellectual property that they, that they represented. And we spent a good two and a half months going through that whole due diligence process. Um, and it uh, turns out that everything that they represented was, was accurate. The science is, is incredible. Um, you know, the, the intriguing part for me through this whole process has been uh, a, a couple of things, really. One was the, the fact that um, the amount of science that they produced, you know, this has been research that has been conducted by Herb Nagasawa most of his adult life. You know, some 40 years of research has been spent into this, into this, this technology and science. Um, the other thing that was interesting from my perspective and the company's perspective, it was, it was all patented product. Uh, so it was intellectual property that we could potentially own and control going forward. The third thing that was probably the most intriguing to me was uh, when you sat and you met with Herb Nagasawa, it was the mission. And the synergy between what Max had been doing and is doing with Dr. Keller's mission fit hand in glove with Dr. Nagasawa's mission. And that was to, you know, increase people's um, health um, and, and to eventually get this technology and science out to, to the masses. And I'm not talking about North America and South America, I'm talking worldwide and then even into third world countries. So from everything that we, we went through and we reviewed, everything lined up just perfectly for us. With the acquisition of Celgevity, um, we have always strived to continuously look at and enhance our, our products. Uh, and with the acquisition of Celgevity, this really, because there's a whole host of, of technology and science, it's just not one product and, and one patent, there's a series of them, that this actually takes uh, the longevity of our company out a good seven to ten years, just on those, just on that intellectual property alone. Mm -hmm. So for Max, um, it provides, uh, you know, kind of the rocket ship to our foundation that we've already created with the original formulation from Dr. Keller, and I think it fits hand in glove in terms of, you know, what Dr. Keller's original vision was in terms of the technology and where Dr. Nagasawa's is. So it's, it's just that it's on a continuum. It's on a complete continuum in terms of how the science is going to move forward and what we offer into the marketplace. And now it's my pleasure to introduce you to Dr. Herbert T. Nagasawa. Glutathione is so important for so many, it does so many different functions. It is difficult, it encompasses the whole spectrum of your organism. For example, it is important, I'm talking about not so much the antioxidant properties, but it is important for having amino acid gets transported, into, that means protein synthesis. It is important uh, in regulation. It is important in maintaining the immune system healthy. And finally, it is important as a protective agent that this, this actually sequesters free radicals that you get from the environment. And the organs that are highest in glutathione levels, that is the eye, the ears, the lung, the liver, the kidneys, and the skin. These organs have the highest concentrations of glutathione for good reason, because these organs are subject to all of the tox toxins in the environment. When I started to work on glutathione and started to find out all of the ramifications of glutathione and the importance of glutathione, and then we found that a particular molecule can replenish that glutathione, and we have other molecules besides, I felt that this technology, if not transferred within my lifetime, I would be very unhappy. I'd like to be able to have this technology transferred. And the only way to transfer this technology is to have a commercial entity do it. Myself being a scientist, I have absolutely no knowledge of business. And I had been taught when I was in school that if you want to have make, if you have a discovery, the first thing you have to do is patent it. 
And the second thing, if you want to have it disseminated, is to get a commercial person to do it and stay out of it.